welcome back to the bookworms buddy today I have a tag for you I was not tagged for this one however but I first saw it on Rihanna's channel over at Little Library and I will link to her below and then the cur or the original creator is Charlie Rainhorse I I'm guessing that's how you say that and I will link to that video also in the description box below so let's get started okay number one how many books do you usually read at once it's pretty much a rule for me. I read one book at a time. I used to read several books at a time, but I found that it took me longer to read that way because I would lose focus in between books. So, you know, you wrap your mind around one book and then you switch to another one. And you're like, oh, wait, where was I in this? And it was just really not working for me. So now I generally, as a rule, read one book at a time unless I'm reading a really large book or a particularly slow paced book. And then I'll just pick up a quicker read just so I can get through my TBR for the month. I'm not going to stumble on a book and be like having six books left to read for the month that I'm already in the second week of the month. Okay, question number two. If you're reading more than one book at a time, how do you decide when to switch reading the, to the other book? For me, I guess it would just depend on what book I'm enjoying the most, I guess. Um, in this case, though, with reading Outlander, I read to page 200, so I'll read to page 200, and then I gotta get that review book read, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I, in this case, I read the 200, decide to switch to the next book. Page count is, is a good way to decide, unless you're really, really enjoying the book. If I'm really enjoying the book, then I don't care about page count, I'm just gonna read that book. So, yeah, that's usually how I, how I decide. Number three, do you ever switch bookmarks while you're partway through a book? No, <laughs> um, if I have several bookmarks, so I choose the bookmark for the book that I'm reading, and then that's my bookmark for the book. So, like for Outlander, I'm using my new bookmark from Acos for that one, and then I just picked up another bookmark that I had laying on my desk, and that's the one that I'm re using for that one. I don't really change bookmarks. Okay, number four, where do you keep the book you're currently reading? It just depends on where I last read. Like if I take it to, to bed with me, then it's on my nightstand. If I just, I, I quit at my desk, it's on my desk. Or if I sit in the chair, I leave it at, on the end table in the living room by my chair. You know, it just depends where I read last. Okay, number five, what time of day do you spend the most time reading? That would be when I have the time to. It just depends. I think, like I said in another video, in the summer, we're just really a lot more busy than we are in fall, winter, and even spring. Summer's just a really busy time for us, and we, we, we do more things. So I have to read when I have the time to. And generally I'll read, you know, if my husband is still at work, I'll read then. If we have no plans for the day, then I can read, you know, in between housework and, and cooking dinner and that kind of stuff. So it really is just when I have the time to. Okay, number six, how long do you typically typically read for in one go? For again, you know, it's it just it depends on the day. I, I read as much as I can. Um, I mean there's been times where I've been able to read an entire day. You know, it just depends on what's going on. Number seven, do you read hot covers with dust jacket on or off? Generally, I take the dust jacket off because it annoys me if it's slipping around on the book. So it's just easier for you to take the dust jacket off, sit it up on a shelf, and then just read the hardback that way and, and nothing is slipping around. Number eight, which position do you mainly use to read? I'm usually kind of kicked back. If I'm sitting at my desk, I have a chair that sits next to, next to my desk and my feet can go up on that and I can sit back in my chair and read. Or I'm reclined in my chair in the living room or if I read in bed, then I'm, I'm against the bed board. So yeah, I, I try to be reclined when I read because it's more comfortable and easier to read that way. Okay, number nine, do you take the book you're currently reading with you everywhere you go? Um, I take my book with me if, if we're going to a doctor's visit or a dentist or if we're traveling. But if we're just going to the store, I don't generally take a book with me to read on the way because music's playing or my family's talking and I just can't focus on a book that way. So not everywhere I go except in those instances. 
Number 10, how often do you update your progress in the book you're currently reading on Goodreads? I used to update a lot, like maybe every 50 pages or every 100 pages or so, but now I, I don't. I don't even, I just post the book that I read. You know, I don't even say, curr I don't even use currently reading anymore. I just, when I finish the book, then I put it down and then I read it. So that's, that's how I do it now. It's just easier for me that way rather than doing the updates on, oh, I'm currently reading this and on this many pages out of this many. So yeah, it's just easier for me just to wait till I finish the book, then I run my review. And then the last one is, who would you like to tag? I'm only going to tag three people. I'm going to tag Elizabeth over to Elizabeth Book Babble. I'm going to tag a coast over to Coastal K, and I'm going to tag Sarah over at Sarah Ella. If you ladies have not done this tag, please do. Let me know when you do it, and I'll come check them out. And that is it for this tag, guys. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.